All right, so I'm not going to do no intros. I'm not going to do any of the extra stuff. We're just going to hop straight into the conversation. So as y'all might have heard by now, because I'm a little bit late to the party, EA has finally activated a green light for them to start working on a new fight night. With the exception of they won't actively start working on fight night until UFC 5 is done, which if you are a fight night fan, this is kind of typical news to y'all. Like they always put UFC over fight night. So this is kind of typical from EA but that is not the reason why I want to make this video the main reason why I wanted to make this video is because of the response I see from different people about the matter some people are actually concerned about ESBC and the future of ESBC and some are still supporting ESBC no matter what and that's what we are talking about today as you can see by the title is ESBC in trouble because of fight night but before I can answer that, this is a fight night video, so I'm going to talk about fight night a little bit. So, y'all already know how I felt about EA making a new fight night, especially now. Since they told us in the last past 10 years that they wasn't going to make another fight night, but all of a sudden, since ESBC has been out, now they want to activate a green light to start working on a new fight night. Y'all know I felt like it was a cash grab, and I still feel like it's a cash grab. And you want to know the most ironic thing about this whole thing? EA has a code name for the project do you know what the project is named moneyball they not making it secretive of their intentions that is the most ironic thing i've ever seen in my entire life i've said it from jump i said if ea was to make another fight night it would look like a cash grab and these dudes decided to name the code name for the project moneyball and i know some of y'all gonna say oh it's just it's just it's just a code name it's just a code name they could have named that code name anything under the sun it could have been fight night it could have been fight night 2022 it could have been fight night 2023 out of every name that they could have chose they all agreed to moneyball that is a red flag for me that right there clearly shows where they are going with fight night and it's not a good thing so that leads me to believe they're going in the same direction with ufc but despite how i feel about the matter because i know i've dogged ea i've dogged fight night i'm actually gonna be interested interested i'm not saying i'm buying on first day but i will be interested to see the direction that ea is going to go with with fight night i want to see if they're going to actually improve on some things you feel me like i want to see what is the direction that ea is going to go it's been 10 years since we had a boxing game so i'm pretty sure there will be major adjustments like of course the graphics are going to look better but the main thing i want to see is the game play how will the gameplay be will it be a fight night champion 2.0 i would hope not but you know what it could be because a lot of people say fight night champion is the best boxing game ever i think that's total bularkey but to each his own i'm not gonna sit here and argue with somebody else's opinion that is your opinion i can't argue with that but what i can argue is ea if you're gonna make another fight night that gameplay better be on point and i don't want to see no fight night champion 2.0 gameplay it's been 10 years bro it's been 10 years i don't want to see no pump blocking i don't want to see power straight spin i don't want to see none of that in the new fight night bro i want to see crisp clean gameplay i'm not even saying there's going to be sim because we all know ea don't like making sim games so what i'm gonna say is if you're gonna make an arcade at least try to make an arcade sim so can ea dethrone esbc and the shortest answer for that is they don't get to decide that we get to decide that i want you to really understand where i'm going with this ea do not get to decide what game dethrones what game we consumers we get to to decide what game dethrones what game we make games flourish they don't they make the game we buy the game that's how they make money off of the game that is how games get dethroned or that is how games become popular because we buy it if nobody buys the game the game isn't popular therefore it can't dethrone another game so i want people to understand that 
when they say, can EA dethrone ESBC or can EA overrule ESBC? We have the power to do that. Not them. They just produce the game and publish the game. We actually have to buy the game. But what I will say is, though, it depends on us. It's going to be a division between the two. The reason why I say that is because it's happening right now. If you look around, some people are already comparing ESBC to Fight Night. They've been doing it since the end of time. So that's going to be amplified even more when both Fight Night and the SBC come out. That's what's going to happen. It's going to be what games do you like the most? There will be a gray area. That gray area being, of course, content creators and people who want both games. But the main bulk is going to be people who play Fight Night because they don't really like ESBC or people who play ESBC because they don't really like Fight Night. That is going to be the division between the two. I'm playing one or the other because I don't like the opposite game or I'm split down in the middle. I like boxer games, so I'm going to get both boxing games. This is where round for round boxing should have been at, by the way, but that's what's going to end up happening. It's going to be a divided area between the two games. Is that right? Not necessarily, but I mean, at the end of the day, I would say this. If you want both games, get both games. I'm going to get ESBC, but I will be looking at Fight Night to see the direction that EA goes. If they can actually produce a good... Hold on. If they can actually produce... A good boxing game then your boy Remy will think about buying fight night and making fight night content on my channel but if fight night is trash I won't be buying it that's where I stand on this if the game is good I'll get it if the game is trash I'm not getting it so stop asking can EA dethrone ESBC Y'all control that. They don't. But leave down in the comments y'all thoughts and opinions on the matter. How do y'all guys feel about EA breaking back Fight Night? Of course, it's going to be a while before we actually start getting real Fight Night news because, like I said, it's being postponed because of UFC 5, which, like I said, that, that's typical EA. But are y'all going to actually look to buy Fight Night? Like I said, I'm interested in buying it, but we're going to see. But that will conclude the video. If you are new to the channel and you enjoy any of my content, hit that like button and if you are new, hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss out on any more videos like this one. And it's your boy Remy. I love you guys and I will see you on the next one. Peace.